Picking up any Western media coverage on Taiwanese internet cafes brings up stuff like stabbings, deaths, and other horrendous conditions. We decided to come to Taiwan and check it out ourselves to see if those things are actually kind of true or if the internet cafes are nicer and cleaner and more entertaining. Let's check it out. Cooler Master's Mastercase Maker 5 features their freeform modular system allowing you to customize, adjust, and upgrade on your own. Make it yours at the link in the video description down below. Welcome to Li Hua Han Cyber Cafe, housing 200 computers equipped with 160 NVIDIA GTX 960s, 40 GTX 970s, 200 Intel Core i7 2600s, and 200 kits of 8 gigabytes of RAM. It is the biggest internet cafe in all of Taipei, and it is the only one in all of Taiwan that has NVIDIA certification, which is only one of three in the entire world. Let's go check it out. Membership is cheap as hell, about 30 cents in US dollars. And then for actual game time, if you spend 15 bucks, you get about 22 hours after that. Naturally, the more you spend, the more bonus hours you get. Competitive online games foster an electrifying atmosphere of frustration, intensity, and surprisingly often, victory. The fourth floor is covered head to toe in NVIDIA branding and there's two 5v5 competitive rooms which can be used for many different tournaments and booked for different teams to host scrimmages or practices or whatever they would like. Li Hua Ha has been open 24 hours a day for 15 years, but isn't too old to innovate. They're constantly trying new things to see what works for their customers, like mechanical keyboards and 3440 by 1440p ultra wide monitors. And you need never fear for going hungry. They've positioned themselves as a restaurant as well, and you can call for food at basically any time by just clicking something simple on your desktop after you die in League of Legends because you're a noob. And the food is actually surprisingly good, and they have a lot of it. Their menu is huge, so you'll probably be able to be satisfied with at least something on it, and you never have to leave the comfort of your leather chair. I love it here. The food, the environment, the games, it's, it's all great. It makes me want to grab four friends, form a competitive team, and try really hard, probably get wrecked because the caliber of players here is very high, um, but it would be fun anyways. This place is great, but it's really high energy. What if you just want to be laid back? Enter Q time. At about $3 for a membership and about a dollar an hour after that, hanging out at Q time is pretty freaking cheap. But that also includes stuff like tea, various other beverages, and unlimited ice cream, if that's more your game, if you're not really into the tea stuff. Moving on, that price also includes a room, somewhere to hang out with. If you have two like-minded friends, so at least three of you, you can get this room, my favorite one. Jumping inside, there's an upstairs bunk where you have to climb a ladder, which is just fantastically fun. A downstairs bunk where you can hang out, a big nice TV, and a mm, little bit subpar computer. It's got a 760 Intel processor, GTS 460, and four gigs of RAM. Not a ton to, to phone home about, but you might be able to play Warcraft or something. In here, you have a smaller room. You could be in here by yourself or maybe with your partner or something. You've got a computer, a TV, and a couch to hang out on. To keep your company while you're relaxing, they have near endless amounts of manga and novels and comic books, movies, and you can even borrow an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 all for free. And then if you need some extra stuff, you can pay a little bit more and use something like their laundry machine or even their showers. I like it here, and while it might not be my first choice compared to the more gaming-inspired cyber cafe, I understand the appeal. It's relaxing and comfortable. Someone's literally asleep right now. You can do that. The age range of people that come here is more like 18 to 85 instead of the cyber cafe, which was like 15 to 35. It's quite different. Let's talk to one of them to see what he thinks. Uh 
When you pair the strengths of these two cyber cafes together, you get something pretty cool. You have two different options to create a home away from home, somewhere to game, somewhere to relax. You don't have to be at home to do those things. You don't have to have the stuff that these places have in order to do them. That's pretty cool. Both internet cafes or cyber cafes or whatever you want to call them were uniquely attractive entertainment options for ridiculously low prices. I see why people go. And considering the amount of people that go to these things, I'm not surprised that there happen to be some deaths. Yes, it's a horrible thing, but a lot of people die watching TV too. Ting is the mobile carrier that is focused on customer service and customer satisfaction first. Don't speak to a robot. Get pushed directly through to a person, potentially like the guy over there with the muscle car, or motorbike, or whatever that loud thing is, and pay only for what you use. The average Ting bill is only $24 a month per device. If you're stuck in a contract and switch to Ting, they'll even cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to 75 bucks. So head over to linus.ting.com and try out their savings calculator to figure out how much you can, well, save. When you sign up with our link, you also get $25 in service credit or 25 bucks towards a new device. So you can save more money to spend on your gas guzzling vehicle. If you guys like this episode, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Be sure to subscribe to see all the rest of our content. I get subscribed on the forum. That's the, you, you join the forum and then you can become a contributor. You don't really get subscribed there. And check out this video, which uh, Dennis is gonna pick. You're gonna pick a video that goes here. He doesn't know that yet, he'll do it later.